Greetings YouTube. The time that Robert spent on this is truly impressive and I just haven't had the chance to really do it justice. But ironically, I'm leaving town to get my oil changed because my brother will be flying in for the first time in over two years to Oklahoma at the end of the month, Mr. Prof Box. And actually he'll be flying into Kansas City, Missouri. Shout out to my Missouri subscribers and my Kansas City subscribers who know that I'm going to be hunting for that best barbecue in Kansas City. The Jack Stack kind with my brother. Uh, probably that Saturday morning. But with that being said, uh, contents of this video, and there are multiple uh, videos and rank-ups within this actual submission to Dropbox. A pre-rank prestige rank-up, post-rank-up prestige uh, for, for Kitty Pride. Max ramp-up special 2 damage on Realm of Legends Wolverine, I believe. Phasing annoying to dex special attacks can be done with other specials as well. The Axe 6.2.5 Mortal Boss Solo and Labyrinth of Legends Star-Lord Solo. So, you can see that uh, his total number of heroes is 746, base hero prestige. Uh, by the way, I think it's going to be best for me to just hide my webcam for the rest of this. 746 number of heroes, 1.598 million base hero rating, and 12.4 million, or million, 12 million prestige. How about them apples? 12,000 prestige. And you can see at rank four, SIG 200, 37,490, or <laughs> I feel like I am extra dyslexic today. And I have uh, dyslexia in my family, so that makes sense. 37,479 health and 6,170 attack. Overall PI of 25,580, it appears maybe that's when he's not boosted. So that's actually the real PI of his mastery setup. And you can see after the rank four, his prestige went from 12,470 to 13,254. That is incredible. Now, uh, he has sent a couple of shorter videos to start this off, including this after 78 hits Realm of Legends Wolverine fight. And it is going to get, there we go, more crisp as the video goes long. Dropbox just has that annoying start. Look at missing those annoying specials. 60,000. 43,000, 73,000 in that special two. That is truly fantastic. And then we have an Agent Venom fight in the second short video that he's already ramped up 50 hits on. And yes, I now have an Awakened Six Star Kitty Pride. Sig 1 versus uh, Sig 200. So a little bit less of a <laughs> Sig by a, only 199 six. But look at that, phasing the annoying special, and then unblockable. I'm guessing maybe he's got that Tigra synergy going on. And then talk about a mortifying fight. I do appreciate sometimes people are like, oh, Prof, he's not 100% health. You can feature somebody who's a better fighter. I appreciate when people make mistakes and carry it on to the next fight because, well, uh, it's more realistic. And given his mastery setup, it looks as though um, he's still draining quite a bit of health when he's not phasing from the suicides. Um, but here we go. Uses that incinerate. Gets clipped by the special too. But comes right back and re-triggers the incinerate. And now he's in that special phase and uh, intercepting rhythm. And... Dex is that annoying special, doesn't have to worry about it at all. Uh, or I should say, it doesn't Dex, phases through it to a special two that does so much damage that uh, Mordo is almost instantly down, and then now is down to 1% health, and boom. 84,000 Mordo, doesn't matter. Kitty is taking some pride. And yeah, you can see it is the. Quantum Realm Trinity of Ghost, uh, Wasp, and Hood. So I guess Ant-Man technically isn't it. And then added in with Tigra and Kitty Pride. Talk about a force of nature. So now we have the uh, longest submission of the submissions from Robert. And that is the solo that, as always, will eventually sharpen. And it does now of Star-Lord. And you'll see, don't have to worry about the parry... Uh, charges or look at the 50,000 max damage and even though she's got recoil she's basically phasing through the recoil and just going back and forth with it also with that suicide setup even when you do take damage like 
he did on those hits, you can heal back from it. You can see while she's phasing, she's just recovering health at 107 per tick, which adds up pretty fast. Now the special two that just does so much damage and makes this fight really a joke compared to how hard it used to be, even with somebody like, ironically, Star-Lord, the person you're fighting. And that unblockable while phasing with the Tiger synergy is just chef's kiss, as they say. And again, he has now healed back the damage of the health that he lost, which is truly amazing. And uh, again, took 9% damage, but then instantly is regenerating it. And the prowess is being retained. And he is just doing the really fun super effective and i think when you get it down from those of you that have told me prof you've got to learn kitty pride because she's really easy once you learn her which i kind of feel the same about quake now although i feel like quake's also like the the game of golf or the sport of golf when you get really cocky is when you mess up or when it humbles you i went like multiple months without getting wrecked and doing the true quake and shake and then i took a, a little bit of time off from quaking and then i came back and it's like i'd never quaked in my life And the phasing continues to be well achieved. You can see just building that up to the special two where he does 43,000, 10,000, 32,000, 12,000, double 50,000, and 20,000 for 120,000 total damage on that final hit. So she is a cheat code. And, you know, I look at this and I just say, Kabam, your argument against why Six Star Quake shouldn't exist is completely irrelevant when you create six star kitty pride and i'm not saying that to say that kitty pride should in any way be nerfed because of course i don't believe that at all but i do believe that is a positive argument in the uh form of including six star quake in the game don't nerf people buff people and bring all five stars including wolverine because my goodness would i love to see that region eventually to the six star pool and don't do it in two years when you're Bringing in seven stars, good lord. Alright, here's another crazy special. Two starts out with 45,000. Ends up with that 120,000 damage we've seen so well. And even though it says recoil, she lost zero health. Which is truly fantastic. Gotta love that Tigra hood synergy. And, you know, it's a longer fight. If you look at this video, it is a uh, about a five minute video. But it is also a champion that has a crazy amount of health. That is the first real mistake he's made this whole time. I am not the only one, it looks like, who sometimes tends to get a little nervous toward the end when I'm one-shotting somebody and thinks, oh man, I've almost done it. And then I can just, my hands get sweaty, and they start shaking. It's kind of embarrassing, actually, to see, uh, <laughs> to see my nerves come apart. But, you know, at least you know what you're getting on this channel. Uh, realistic wrecked gameplay with the occasional bright spot. Also describes most of my hair days for the little hair that I have left. All right, so down to 5%. This is where it gets really uh, fun when you have the assassin under 18% health at your benefit. Looking to just probably get to one more special too. Again, unblockable. And now he's at that special two easily knocks him out before even the last damage is done. Robert, I know that you've waited probably longer than you thought you would for me to commentate this, but I hope the wait was worth it. Uh, and that is the last video in the folder that he submitted to the channel. And we're able to get everything in under 10 minutes as I bring my webcam back. So, uh, Robert, thanks for the info. I think everybody's goal should eventually be to have a rank four six star Kitty Pride, even if it takes years, because... Just like champs like Ultron are aging like a fine wine with more utility and, and usability every day, Kitty Pride is going to be one of those champions that if you can master, you're going to clear so many nodes and so many future nodes. Even with the 5 star at 565, right? Don't, don't discount that rank up if you're watching this too. So thanks again, Robert. Have a good one.